Hey everybody, um, so first of all, some of you may be asking why I'm wearing a jacket. Um, well like the t-shirt I have under here, um, it said like my school and stuff and so I was too lazy to take the t-shirt off so I just threw a jacket on. Um, anywho, today's video is going to be how to grow out your hair. Um, like, yeah, I mean that's pretty self-explanatory. As you may know, my hair is pretty long um and I mean I obviously had to grow it out because okay like about two years ago um I got my hair cut like it was this long um and I got it cut actually it wasn't this long it was a little bit shorter but I got it cut um because it was giving me headaches it's really thick so I got it like layered and stuff but the lady just pretty much took half my hair and cut it one length and then cut the other one another length so um it wasn't really what I wanted and it, I hated it so I was like I'm never cutting my hair um, I want this to just grow out so I grew it out um, I got trims but I didn't trim the um, layers but then one time the lady did trim my layers so they did like get cut a little um, so as you can see like this strand right here um, it's actually not as long as my other hair you see how that hair goes longer than that? So that's my layer. That like how that lady cut. So this is the layer growing out and then that's like the main hair. Um tips and tricks, just the usual like don't overuse heat. Like my hair is naturally straight. Um yeah. And so I'm kind of good with like the whole um, like straightening thing, but if you do need to straighten your hair, curl your hair, etc., um, do use a um, heat protectant. And um, when I do curl my hair, my hair doesn't really curl that easy, so I have a like a good recommendation. You could like just get your hair wet and then use like the scrunchy um, stuff. Like, hold on, I have. This, like, Aussie gel, um, and it's supposed to, like, freeze your hair, so you get it wet, and then you just scrunch it like that. Um, that's a good, like, it kind of is curly, so that's a good, like, um, what am I trying to think of? A good replacement to curling your hair with heat. So, um, also I know there's, like, the sponge curlers where you... Wrap it in your hair when your hair is wet and keep it in for the night and then take it out and it's curly. I use those. Um, those actually lock my hair in easier than the heat does. Um, and also just hair products that you use. Like use a shampoo. I used um, Dove shampoo before like intensive repair to um, keep away the split ends. And because if you think about it like this hair at the very bottom has been growing ever since it's been at the very top. And, um, yeah, so I use that shampoo and then conditioners from Aussie, um, deep, um, conditioners to moisturize my hair and then leave-in conditioners, um, and then, like, try to avoid coloring your hair because I know that that can, um, really dry it out and damage it. Um, I'm probably getting highlights in my hair, which is going to be bad, but I... We'll just make sure that I use color protecting shampoo and um, deep moisturizers and stuff. So if you do color your hair, make sure that you put those products in. Um, also, when you get out of the pool, since it's summertime, even though summertime summertime's kind of ending, um, make sure to wash your hair right after to get the chlorine out because chlorine is very dry into your hair. Like I knew every time I got out of the pool, my hair felt like really dry and stringy and when it dried it like would crunch at the very tips and I'm like ew um <clears throat> see on the sun dries out the your hair too which is why your hair is gets lighter in the summer um yeah this is pretty much my video uh sorry if I sound like really bored I've been kind of getting like out of breath this whole video I was like <laughs> but uh yeah I will talk to you guys later and I hope you guys enjoyed this video bye